Well, the Chase Sapphire Reserve Card might just be your ticket to that dream. It's a premium travel rewards credit card with a ton of benefits, from airport lounge access to travel insurance. But before you get swept away by visions of first-class caviar, there's a crucial question. Are you even eligible? One of the biggest hurdles for many is the credit limit. Unlike some starter cards with low minimums, the Chase Sapphire Reserve is known for being a bit more selective. So, the burning question is, what's the minimum credit limit you need to snag this coveted card? Buckle up, travel enthusiasts, because we're about to dive deep into the world of Chase Sapphire Reserve credit limits. First things first, Chase doesn't publicly disclose exact credit limit ranges for any of their cards. This can be frustrating, but it also means they have some flexibility in determining your individual limit. However, thanks to a combination of industry insights and user experiences, we can get a pretty good idea of the ballpark for the Chase Sapphire Reserve. The magic number you're looking for is $10,000. That's the widely reported minimum credit limit for the Chase Sapphire Reserve. It makes sense when you consider the card's annual fee and the travel rewards it offers. Chase wants to ensure cardholders can responsibly manage a potentially high spending limit. But wait, there's more. While $10,000 is the minimum, it doesn't mean that's all you can get. Your creditworthiness plays a significant role. Here are some factors that can influence your starting credit limit. Credit score, this is a big one. A strong credit score, ideally above 750, significantly improves your chances of getting a higher limit. Income, Chase wants to see you have a steady income that can comfortably handle the potential charges on the card. Credit history, a long and healthy credit history with on-time payments looks fantastic to Chase. Existing credit lines, the total credit limits you already have across all your cards can affect your starting limit on the Chase Sapphire Reserve. The good news? Even if you don't qualify for the maximum limit right away, there are ways to increase it over time. Here are some tips. Practice responsible credit card use. Pay your bills on time and in full whenever possible. This demonstrates your ability to manage credit responsibly. Request a credit limit increase. After a period of responsible card usage, usually six months to a year, you can request a credit limit increase from Chase. Become a bigger spender. If you consistently use your Chase Sapphire Reserve card and keep your account in good standing, Chase might automatically increase your limit over time. Remember, a high credit limit isn't everything. Don't get carried away by the allure of a bigger spending pool. Always spend what you can comfortably afford to pay back each month. So, there you have it. The minimum credit limit for the Chase Sapphire Reserve is $10,000, but it can be higher depending on your creditworthiness. By building and maintaining a good credit score, managing your existing credit lines responsibly, and using the card strategically, you can increase your chances of getting a higher limit and unlock the full potential of the Chase Sapphire Reserve card. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, happy travels!